All right, so we're gonna go ahead, show you how to take out the clutch on a 2011 and newer ZX-10. Um, we're gonna do a Brox slipper clutch mod. Basically, we're getting rid of the slipper clutch and we're doing the Brox heavy duty springs. Both are available with Fast by Few if you guys want some. And on this cool video, you'll be able to install them yourself. First thing you need to get is you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket. That's gonna take off these. You'll need an 11 millimeter wrench. I'll show you why later. You'll need a five millimeter Allen. You'll need a 27 millimeter impact socket with an impact. And then you'll need, you have to have this to do the job right. These are a set of Motion Pro clutch spline vice grips, half inch torque wrench, 3 8 inch torque wrench that does in foot pounds, or I'm sorry, in inch pounds. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do it real quick. This job really only takes about 10 minutes if you use power tools. A lot of people get stuck on this next part. Come close to me and you'll figure out how to do it. The trick is you take this bolt out. This is, you pull it back to where the spring on the bottom engages. You see this little spring right here? Sometimes it'll get caught. So pull it, go back to where it's free. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it up and then it'll give you just enough clearance to go over and then you'll be free. Just move this over on the other way. And then you just turn this backwards and pushes the clutch. Try not to damage the gasket. And that's it. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pop off these Allens. All right. Pull it from the middle. And pull your outer pressure plate out, All right? So normally these things come out and that's why you need the 11 millimeter. But on this bike, which is the first one I've ever seen, they stayed in. So now we're gonna get our impact and we're gonna knock off the center clutch of the bolt. So what I like to do is I put a little pressure on the clutch back. Okay, from here, you remove the nut, and there's four of these little springs right here. And this is what we're eliminating. Take these four out, get your box piece, and then this just goes right here in the center. And then you get this, and you tighten it in. All right, now what we're gonna do, so we got our Motion Pro, goes like this. Tighten it up on your inner clutch up. You don't want to put it too tight because you can break it really easy. So. All right. There, all right. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our super fancy torque wrench and we're gonna set to the torque spec. Um, this bike has a torque spec of 96 inch pounds. Um, I like to use Newton meters and in Newton meters, it is 130. And then put that against your rear set. There it is.
next thing you're going to do, get your pull, your pull rod that goes in there. And then the outer basket has three indentions. You see that? One in the middle. Also, it's got a little divot right here. And then the divot is marked by these two little, these two little indentions right here also. And those go right here. There's one here and one there. It's the only way this will fit. I get a lot of messages of people asking me how to put this on. And you wanna make sure it's nice and flush and free. Then let's go ahead and put on our clutch spring. All right, so the Brock's instructions are, we use all six springs and there's two washers. Technically, this is one of their washers, okay? So you got a thick one and a thin one. How Brock's wants you to do it is just use the thicker washer and leave the thin one out. Um, and that is really good seat pressure. If you have a race bike that you probably have um, some boost on, nitrous or something like that, you would want to run the thicker washer. So how we're going to do it is this bike isn't a drag bike. So we're probably going to run two of these washers and we're going to leave the other four out. So you don't want to use just one. You want to use two so that way they're opposite or you can use four and you would just keep them off opposite from each other. Um, the way you use the washer is is you do the washer first and then you put the thick one in. So it goes like that. And you are going to use the stock five millimeter bolts and the torque spec on that is 97 inch pounds. So you're not gonna use the stock springs or anything else. So only thing you need out of this is Bolt. I'm going to grab our two with a washer, put those in first. First rule, don't ever use a electric power gun, that way you don't strip it. Me, I have a really cool power gun that has different torque modes so that way I can't strip. It won't even tighten them all the way. All right, then we go ahead and put in our other ones. And these ones are not gonna have the washer. All right, so what I do is I slide this out, washer and spring. It makes it hard to install the clutch cover next. Just make sure you don't have any electrical wires that are in the way. There is a crank positioning sensor that runs right over this cover. Sometimes it can get in the way. All right, so you just set this in here. Goes in just like that. Don't force it, just kind of lightly push it in, make sure they're all in and pops right in.
All right, now we're gonna torque the case. Next part is putting this back in, all right? Just goes in, just get it to where it's pointed towards you. Push it straight in and get the spring. So it'll only go down at this angle. So really, instead of pointing you, it should be pointing back. And you wanna make sure it clips in right here and it clips in right here. Then you get your spring. And before you get too crazy, Get this piece in, like that, and it barely, you gotta hold it and drag it along the frame, it'll barely clear it. Push down, and that's it. It's on both sides. You get the last eight millimeter. She deserves.